guys, what is up? It's Kayla. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a walkthrough of a ice store that we visited here in South Africa. And that is Canal Walk. And that's one of the biggest malls I've ever visited. And it's very cool just to see all the different things that you see in the ice store. And I had such fun filming this. Everyone at the store was super nice letting me film there. So this is from our trip that we took to Cape Town a few weeks ago. And that week I actually got my iPhone 7 Plus at the end of the weekend. So it was very fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So here is the 2016 15 inch MacBook Pro with the touch bar and you also get a 13 inch with the touch bar as well as a 13 inch without the touch bar at all. But the first thing I did was play around with the touch bar a bit and I really really like it. It's just it has all these functioning keys that I played around with a bit and it does have touch ID and the brightness and display on this laptop is super super cool especially compared to my about four year old Lenovo laptop but I just really like playing around with this all these tools you have accessible to you and you can minimize that if you don't want all those tools on at once and you have Siri so the keyboard on this is contains the second generation butterfly keys and I really really like them even though it has lesser travel and you have that big touchpad which a lot of people seem to complain about but I like it especially with, with that force touch you can have and I just really really like the keyboard and touchpad it's very very cool so as you know the top of the laptops Apple icon usually glowed but Apple removed that and again a lot of people seem to complain about that but I really really like it it's just a lot cleaner to me so here on the sides you will see you have two USB type C ports and then the other side again two USB type C ports and a headphone jack as well and I just opened a web browser here to show you guys other things that the touch bar can do like you can see here you get to search the website name and then you have all these different tabs that you can enter here you can see all of them loaded and you just get a lot of things and I think this is very helpful if you just want to go into a website really quick you can just click on the touch bar and access them no problem at all so here are some editing apps like iMovie that's default on this computer and Final Cut Pro then I just clicked on the notes application so I could test out the keypad a little bit more so as you can see I just typed a normal word and here on the touch bar you get a lot of predictive text that you can use and all that things like how you want your text to look like all that and I really really think this could be very helpful some people will see it as a gimmick but I like it and you get this in two colors space gray and silver so with a weird like you can choose and that's basically it it's super nice laptop I really really like it and I wish I had one but it is expensive. So here is the 13 inch MacBook Pro without the touch bar and it's pretty similar to the MacBook Pros with the touch bar except it doesn't have the touch bar. It still has the same keyboard, the same touchpad and it's pretty similar like I said. It does have lesser ports, I will show you that in a minute but I just think it's still worth it. So it has two USB type C ports here on the one side and just one headphone jack on the other. So it does have lesser ports, but still cool. So here I played around with another MacBook and this is a 12 inch and I just played around with this a little bit. I like that this has a lot more color suggestions if you don't like the normal silver or space gray, but it's a nice light small laptop, especially for people who use laptops at school. I think these little laptops would work in your backpack and things like that. So the ports on the side, it has one USB type C port for charging and on the other side you have one headphone jack so it doesn't have a lot of ports but it is there so this laptop goes from thick to thin like the normal airs but i just it's a pretty laptop any macbook to me is pretty good 
and it's an option. So here I played around with an iMac and these things are huge and this is the smaller one. I just had to use this one since it would fit in the phone screen's camera but I just played around with this a little bit and it's really cool especially if you want to edit a video. These screens are huge so you can really see your whole project on the one screen. So you have the keypad over here as you can see and you have the custom Apple mouse. There's not too much I can say about this whole computer, but I just know that it's super big and I would love to have every single thing in this iStore. I really realized that when I was in here. Here I played around with the iPhone 7 Plus and I'm not gonna go into too much detail. You see the dual lens camera. That's pretty much the biggest giveaway that you have an iPhone 7 Plus, I think. And like I said, I'm not going to go too in detail about this since I've done so many videos about this and it's been out for a while now. So I just really like the phone still since I have an iPhone 7 Plus. I really, really like it and it's, it's a nice phone, especially the operating system. There were a bunch of iPhones here in the iStore, obviously, since one of their biggest products are their iPhones. So here you can see I just skimmed through a bunch of them here on this table. They have the 6s, the 6s, the 7s, they have the SE, which I think is pretty underrated, but it's super cool. And you can see here I just went through some of the phones, which they have on display here on all these charging docks. And, I mean, pretty self-explanatory, a lot of phones. Here you see the iPad Pro, the 12.9 inch, and I was super excited when I saw the Apple Pen lying next to the iPad, and I thought, here's my chance to test it out. But sadly, I couldn't since the battery was dead, and I made a complete fool of myself trying to work on the iPad Pro with the Apple Pen but I think it's pretty cool that they added that next to it but it was still sad that I couldn't test it out but it was super cool that it was there and just had the feel of using it even though it didn't work and they had a bunch of the Apple watches there this is the custom Apple watch from Nike and these things are so pretty and I mean you can do a lot with them especially if you like working out a lot all these things do you have accessible to you on this little little device that you carry around on your wrist and I think it's pretty cool I've never really worked with a Apple watch before but I can see how people like this and that is is very accessible especially like I said to people who like working out and this Nike version is super cute so here is the other Apple watch and Again, I really like it. It's super cool and you can do a lot of things with it. I had a little struggle of figuring out how everything works since I don't use Apple Watches that much. But it was just cool to see everything you can do on this and all the apps that were available to you on this little device. And it's just pretty cool, I think. So when we were in the Apple store, I saw that they had this iPod touch on display and I think it's pretty cool. It's such a simple device and it's just a very clean look. And here you can see the back. You can do a lot of things with this little simple device that I think is pretty cool. Here you can see a bunch of accessories and tech stuff that they have available there in the iStore and all these headphones and covers and other secondhand things that you can buy from them. I think it's pretty cool that they have all these secondhand things available and it's just super cool that they have all these things that you can buy, all these accessories because people really like accessories so very very cool. And they had the AirPods which I was super super amazed from and then about 10 minutes later they were all gone. 
as you can see here, they were there and now they're gone. So air poles are going out super fast. Um, so I was super happy when we got one and there you can see the apple pen again, which I couldn't work on, but it was super, super cool. So they had a bunch of things here on display, as you can see, like remote controls and cables and adapters, all those things, and like ear earphones and all those things that are accessories for your phone they had there, all of that, chargers, charging bricks, all of that they had on display in this one rack. I just went through a couple of accessories like this iPhone lightning dock, which is 689 Rand. That's pretty expensive for a charging dock, so I'm gonna stick with my charging cable. I'm fine with that. And I also went through some AirPods, which are super expensive, so don't lose your AirPods. They are 529 Rand for a pair of earpods so do not lose them and this little lightning to headphone jack adapter these are 199 Rand for this little thing so do not lose that keep it safe here I also saw this Apple TV and I decided to show this. I wish I had we had an Apple TV since we like watching movies as a family together and I think this thing would be very very useful and helpful. They also had a few drones on display here which is super cool. Drones are just awesome 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 things and again a lot of these things are super expensive. But I think it was an, it's a nice clean white look with the gray and I just think it's a very very pretty device technical thing that you can have. Especially if you like making videos, you can take some really cool drone shots with this thing. And these things are again super expensive. You have one for 15,899 Rand, 18,999 Rand, 25,999 Rand. And the most expensive one, 27,999 Rand. So these things are not cheap, but if you really like using these, you'll probably get this one for you. And here are some more Apple accessories, like here are some of the Apple Watch wristbands which come in a bunch of different colors and these are pretty cool and you also get some of the Apple Watch chargers down there if that is something you need. Here are some more and there are just a bunch of different colors like I said. There are also a bunch of covers for your phones. These are not official Apple covers. But there are a bunch of different like other brands and people who make Apple covers that they have in store as accessories. And there are so many accessories in this store. It's crazy. But it's super helpful if you don't want to buy that expensive official Apple cover. They have a lot of different options that you can choose from. As you can see, here are a few of the... Apple covers that you get in the iStore. I really, really like all the colors they have available there. And you just have a wide variety of things that you can choose from. And it really just depends on your style and what you like. And here are a few of the iPad covers that you get in the iStore. And again, there is a wide variety. So whichever you'd like, you have options. And I just really think it's very good that they have so many custom Apple covers from phones and iPads and things like that. So here are some speakers and headphones. A lot of these things are from Beats as you can see. Especially those Beats Solo 3 wireless, those are super, super cool. So they just have a bunch of Beat headphones and speakers that are available to you. So, I mean, if you really like your headphones here, you can see this one is priced 
3,409 Rand Rand for this Power Beats 3 wireless and it's just it's pretty expensive but if you are really really into earphones and headphones you should probably go for Beats here you can see another pair and these are 2,499 Rand And these are 1,409 Rand. So, again, these are expensive, but you do have a wide variety given to you that you can choose from. And I know I'm saying a lot of these things are expensive, but that is what you expect from top notch tech stuff. So, here you can see the Beat Solo 3 wireless headphones that I mentioned earlier. And these things are awesome, especially these rose gold. And these are with the Apple W1 chip so they link instantly and these are 4,999 Rand and I think these are pretty cool they are so so pretty especially the colors that you get so here you can see my sister walking out with her pair of airpods that she bought for herself but the iStore has such a wide variety of things so I really really like it and I hope you guys enjoyed this so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you think. And if you have an eye store near you, I don't have one in my hometown. I wish I did. But definitely comment down below. And definitely subscribe. I'd really, really appreciate that. But I will see you guys in my next video. Be weird and be proud of it. Love you guys so much. Bye.